Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about some metric conversions. Uh, right off the bat, uh, bat, you're probably going to want to stop this video and record this chart in your engineering notebook. So I'll give you just a second to pause it and then take a few minutes to write everything down in here. Okay, now let's check this out. Right in the middle here, this is our base unit. Now the base unit could be a liter, could be a meter, could be a gram, could be a byte, anything which is equivalent to one. Uh, most of the time it's going to be liter, meter, or gram. Now as we get bigger, okay, everybody knows what a meter is. Decameter is 10 to the first power, or 10. So one decameter is equal to one meter. Moving up, a hectometer is 10 to the second power, which is 100. So a hectometer is equal to 100 meters. Moving up there, a kilometer, or kilometer, is 10 to the third, which is 1,000. So a kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. A megameter is 10 to the sixth, so it is equal to 1 million meters. A gigameter is 10 to the ninth, so it is equal to 1 billion meters. You also may know giga from like hard drives. So if you have a byte, it's equal to one. If you have a gigabyte, it's equal to one billion uh, bytes of information. Next one up, you have a terabyte, which is a trillion. So a terabyte is equal to one trillion of the base unit. Or if our example, meters, tera meter is equal to one trillion meters. Now it also goes the other way. It gets smaller too. So if we have our base unit, meter, we have a decimeter, which is 0.1 uh, length of a meter. We have centimeter, which is 0 0.01, the length of, of a meter. We have a millimeter, which is 0 0.001, uh, length of a meter. Micrometer, or micrometer, which is 0 0.000001. Now you may notice this symbol. Most everything else is a letter. This is the symbol mu. Um, so you, just so you know, it looks sort of like a cursive M and a Y. Then also you have a nanometer, which is 0 .000000001 uh, length of a meter. Now this gets kind of confusing, and you're going to have to know this. Generally speaking, you're going to be working with this right here. Kilo, hecto, deca, base unit, deci, centi, milli. Now there's actually a really easy way to remember this. Let me switch papers right here. And that is by coming up with a mnemonic device. And the mnemonic device for this is King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centi, milli. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. If you remember that phrase, you're going to remember how this goes. Kilo, hecto, deca, base, denti, celli, deci, centi, milli. Okay, let's work with a few conversions right here. So we've got 56.3 centimeters, and how many millimeters does that equal? So let me draw 56.3 right there. And it is centimeters, so there is my centimeter unit right there. And I need to convert it to millimeters, correct? So what I'm going to do, here is my centi, it is one unit to the right, so my decimal point moves one unit over to the right. So 560 or 56.3 centimeters is equal to 563 millimeters. So to watch that again, here is centi, our base unit is centimeter, 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 56.3 centimeters, it's one unit over, so I move my decimal point one unit over, so it becomes 563 millimeters. Now let's look at uh, 356.8 milliliters. Okay, so I've got milliliters right here, correct? Now it wants me to convert it to liter, and liter is a base unit. Okay, so I've got L right there for a base unit. So what I need to do is go one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Let me write it down, 356.8 milliliters equals how many liters? So there's my decimal point. There's milliliters. Milliliters is one, 
two, three units over. So one, two, three. So it is point three five six eight point three five six eight liters. Okay, now let's check out grams. Six hundred and seventy three point one grams goes to kg. Um, grams is a base unit. Okay, so I've got grams right there, and it wants to go to kilograms right over here. So it is one, two, three units over. So if I write this down, 673.1 grams equals how many kg? And for my base unit, one, two, three over, one, two, three over, one, two, three over. So it's 0 0.6731 kg. 0.6731 kg. Now the same thing with my centimeters right here, or meters, 0.673 meters, 0.673 meters equals how many centimeters? Meter is a base unit, okay, so I've got my base unit right there, and I need to go to centimeters, correct? And that's two units over, so that is one, two, one, two, or 67.3 0.3 centimeters. 67.3 centimeters. Doing metric conversions is a little bit confusing, but all you have to do is remember uh, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, kilo hectodeca, base, deci centimilli, and you have to remember which way you're going. So if you'd like, copy this chart down in your book as well. And all you have to do is go to the right or go to the left, remember if you're getting bigger or smaller, and move the decimal point over accordingly. If you have any questions, stop this video, rewind, replay as many times as you need to get the concept.